Welcome. I'm glad you're watching this video because it's going to go down in history. I've decided to take over all power in my country, and perhaps someday the world. I haven't yet decided if it's going to be through a revolution or democracy. Either way, I will promise amazing things to all those who help me attain power. I will keep my actual politics vague so as to not alienate anyone who disagrees. In place of politics, I will have platitudes, niceties that you can't really disagree with, unless you want to be accused of being insensitive, evil, unpatriotic. I will appeal to the lowest common denominator, but I'll be slick about it. I'll need an army, of course, both to ensure the power of my country and to feed my own frail male ego. It will have a hierarchic structure, because we humans have an instinct to follow the orders of those that appear strong, and in that vein, it will promise honor, glory, and the fulfillment of the primal urge to kill one's enemies, if nothing else, in self-defense. I may make desertion punishable by death regardless of circumstances, and in general to ensure that no man capable of serving even considers not doing so, all boys will be strongly encouraged to join Boy Scouts and similar organizations, under the guise of building character, of course, since that will prepare them nicely for soldier duty. They'll go on marches, learn to survive away from civilization. They'll wear uniforms with pride. It will also serve to suppress their individuality at an early age. An outer enemy will be required, of course, to unify the country. After all, how can we disagree in-country when an outer enemy, real or perceived, threatens our very way of life and our safety? I haven't chosen an enemy yet, but obviously it will be someone of different ethnicity or religion than is the norm here, and I will demonize them. Any difference between us and them in terms of behavior and tradition will be used to paint them as evil and corrupt. I will appeal to and take advantage of the natural xenophobia. I will confirm the people's fears of what they don't know. I will make them feel like following me will satisfy all of their needs beyond any realistic expectations. Once I have control, I will have to keep the population ignorant in addition to scared, lest I risk losing my complete power. I will control what children are taught, both in school and by their parents, simply by calling all alternatives evil and wrong, without offering any proof to substantiate that claim. In this regard, the outer enemy will help as well. I will need control of the media, or at least the most prominent stations, who, in the same emotional and manipulative tone, with the same us-and-them mentality, will promote my ideas and mock all others. The media outlets under my control will censor and ridicule the opposition to the greatest extent possible. If I cannot completely outlaw any criticism of the government, my media outlets will loudly declare these to be unpatriotic and suggest very clearly that these people who are making the criticisms are seeking to destroy or take over our great country. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to base this rule on religion or banish all religion. It depends on how important my countrymen regard their faith. If I banish all religion, I will provide an alternative that promises the same eternal goodness if they behave and eternal punishment if they do not. If I use religion itself, I will of course have to ban all interpretations of it that doesn't support my law. All clerical staff will be in my employ, and if they deviate from what I say the religion says, they will be tried as blasphemers. All of this is dependent on people being receptive to my promises. I need them scared, unhappy, and frustrated so that they will grant me complete power in the belief that I will save them. Perhaps things will get somewhat better once I'm in charge, but once I do have power, all I need to do to keep it is threaten, overtly or otherwise, anyone who might stand to take some of it away from me into silence. I'm not the first, and I won't be the last.